Coming up next, I'm going to review and unbox Mastro del Cuore, Master of the Heart from Pecato Original. So stay tuned. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. And today I have a real treat. I'm doing another unboxing of a fragrance that is new to my collection and one that is already one of my absolute favorites that I own. And that is Mastro del Cuore, which is Master of the Heart from Peccato Original, the Italian niche house, uh, which Peccato Original means original sin in English, which is kind of cool, right? Very kind of biblical reference. Um, so this is, let me, I'm going to do a, a quick unboxing and then get right into this, in, into this fragrance. Uh, I talked about it before in another video, kind of like at Osme Perfumery where I purchased this and just, you know, gave a brief kind of first impression and I've loved it so much and I've worn it so many times that I went ahead and added it. So this box, as you can see, really cool, beautiful box comes in. It's kind of a black box square. Uh, it has this red stripe that goes all the way around three sides, except for the back. And you have obviously the name on the front of the perfume. On the back, you just have the ingredients. It's made in Italy. It's 100 milliliters. Uh, so, you know, just basic information on the back. Now, this has a seal. So when you get the box, there actually has a seal here. I actually... <laughs> accidentally started to open it when I realized I wanted to do an unboxing video. So I will show you though, basically you obviously can tear that wherever you want. And then the box opens kind of like a clamshell. Let me show you. So it opens up like this. Boom. And inside you have the beautiful fragrance sitting there in a foam kind of casing. Simple, clean, beautiful. Very Italian, very Italian design in my, my opinion. And there is the bottle. If you've never seen these bottles from Picato Original, I love them. They all look like this. They all have this kind of round cylinder, almost like hockey puck design. Um, on the bottom you have, again, more information. You have the batch number uh, and everything down there. Okay, you can see the juice. It's kind of like a, it's a light, golden, yellow, or amberish color. Beautiful. You've got the top here, which is a round, by the way, fits on very firmly. So it fits on like that and snaps into place, as you can see there. And again, you have the label on the front. All their fragrances are look like this. They come in a bottle very similar. This is a 100 milliliter bottle. And just to let you know, so 100 milliliter bottle is going to retail for around $180. So that's less than $2 per milliliter, which in my mind, when I look for a niche fragrance, if you if they keep it under that threshold, I think it's an absolute great deal. So those are fragrances, especially when it's a quality niche house like this one. If you get it for under $2 a milliliter, I think it's an exceptional deal and one that you should strongly look at. Now, a uh, little bit about, about the house. Again, this is an Italian niche house, and it was actually, what's very interesting, the perfumer behind this and one of the owners of the house, her name is Silvia Monti, Monti, and she is the owner slash perfumer of the house, and her background is she's a pharmacist. So really cool, she kind of learned perfumery by mixing, you know, uh, medicines and chemicals and all sorts of things over the years in their family pharmacy. So how this house was generated or how it was, you know, kind of originated is a really cool story because it comes from born out of essentially creating materials and concoctions and alchemy through pharmacy. So I, I think that gives her really unique, uh, I guess, uh, element to add to perfumery. So again, this is Mastro del Cuore. It came out, by the way, in 2020. So this is their newest release from the house, brand new, just came out. 
And it's Master of the Heart, and when you read about it, how they talk about this fragrance is it's talking about the heart, how it's the center of the body and how it controls our emotions and everything kind of flows from the heart. So this fragrance is encapsulating that. It's kind of like an emotional experience, something almost that you can't control. I, I love that backstory. And the notes, if you look at the notes on this, it's got amaris, it's got juniper berries, benzoin, cardamom, cardamom birch, uh, tar, chai tea, dried fruits, ginger, black pepper, vetiver, iris, cedar, sandalwood, and musk. So really unique combination of things going on here, which is something that I, I very much like. I like fragrances that are outside of the box. I like niche houses that are outside of the box. And Picato Original and Master of the Heart or, or Master of Del Quarry fit both. So I knew going into this that this is something I wanted to get my nose on. I'd been waiting for it to come into Osme. It just came in a couple weeks ago because of COVID, things have delayed with shipping from Europe to the United States, understandably, so it just came in. I've been smelling it for weeks now, it came in a few weeks ago, and I finally pulled the trigger on this fragrance because, well, bottom line is, obviously I really like it. So let me kind of just give you a spray here on my hands so you can see uh, what it's like. So it comes in a really good atomizer, it's a big puff cloud, and, uh, Sometimes I'm speechless, and sometimes when you smell something so beautiful and elegant, words don't really suffice. And I often find that with fragrances that I really love, that you can't just express normal words to describe it, because this is a fragrance that is, to me, reaches a bond beyond the normal level of just words. It's warm, it's sweet, you get the ginger, you get the cardamom at the top, you get cinnamon, which has this really kind of magnetic quality, like almost like edible. It's almost like, this is like something almost you can feel yourself eating. I, I don't know, it's just like, it's, it's like a taste and smell combined. You have the dried fruits in there, which give this again, this sweet aromatic dry quality. Um, I would say again, it's very warm. Let me, I'll just hold this bottle up. It's very inviting. Uh, it's like the blood flowing from the heart to your senses. So this is like how it's, how it's again, you just feel this like warmth of just like, you feel like this is like traveling through your senses, through your fingertips, through your nose, through your heart. It's like pulsating. I just love the effect that this fragrance creates. And the cinnamon and the ginger blend perfectly. There is cinnamon in here. And it's like with the, the again, it's like sitting, how do I describe this? Because the chai tea also comes out in this beginning. There's so much going on. And while though, and although it's like so blended so well, you're getting little elements of each that are kind of hitting your nose and hitting your skin and, and, and that you're feeling and breathing in. And that chai tea immediately pops through. And I would describe it almost like sitting in a, in a wonderful tea house in somewhere in Europe, sipping on hot tea. It's so unique. This is so unique from typical perfumery. This is why I love good niche perfumery. It's why I so much prefer to designer fragrances. And why it's not every niche house, but a niche house like this, every offering they have is so unique from Polver uh, to Antidoto to uh, Gas Antisocial to there's another one they have, which is like a gourmand that smells like candied almonds. Everything is so unique. And it's so atypical from normal perfumery, that if you like different smells, you've got to try this. So I get on this really good projection for about two and a half to three hours. I've been wearing this a lot lately. And when I say good projection, I get a good 12 inches away from my head because I wear it on both sides of my neck. I wear it on my arms. So I can smell it as I'm sitting at my desk, as I'm working, as I'm typing, as I'm looking. I'm getting wafts of it around. It's very beautiful, but it's something that is so warming and so magnetic that it's going to draw people in. You're not going to offend people. You're going to, people are going to ask what you're wearing when you have this on. And after a couple hours, it goes into this kind of like a little bit of a powdery sandalwood with a touch of iris. It gives it a little bit of a clean smell. And it's almost amber-like. I, I, I don't see amber listed as one of the notes, but to me, there's some a touch of amber in here because I know amber. Amber goes exceptionally well on my skin. It gives it, again, that kind of warm, almost sweet component. And in, as it starts to dry down, I get this almost, almost amber-like quality. 
and it mixes so beautifully on the skin. Uh, just, again, truly unique perfumery here. Um, finally, as you go, and there's three very distinct elements for this on me on the composition. Again, this kind of spicy ginger, cinnamon, chai tea opening. And then you go into that, again, that, that the heart note, which for me is this kind of like sandalwood, but still chai tea. So the chai tea for me remains throughout the entire fragrance. It's most prominent at the top and the middle. But then when you go into the dry down after about four hours, it goes into this beautiful vetiver musk dry down, which almost is kind of hay-like, but it's got the musk, so it's kind of animalic but it's still kind of sweet from the chai tea and it's still aromatic from that. So really complex fragrance here. Only, I think, not only, but which shows the competence of someone who's a pharmacist who really understands mixing compounds. That's, again, what I love about this house. It's so, ex everyone is, every fragrance I've smelled is so expertly compounded like a, like a pharmacist would do. Um, it's just, again, this is like nothing else in my collection. I love fragrance, I love unique fragrances, I love niche fragrances. This, even with my extensive, amazing, what I consider amazing, because I like what I have, this is unique above everything else. And by the way, I'll kind of end it with this. It is perfectly unisex. This fragrance, a lot of fragrances, they're technically unisex, right? But you can tell they kind of lend either more masculine or more feminine, depending, you know. This one, to me, is a perfectly unisex, right down the line type fragrance. It is something that is, to me, if you're a man, it's going to really enhance your masculinity. If you're a woman, it's going to really enhance your femininity. Right down the middle here. Can be worn by either person very well. So there you have it. Uh, that is my review of Mastro del Cuore. As you can tell, I love it. I highly recommend it. I would get your nose on it. I would order a sample. You can order samples from Osme. If you don't see them anywhere else, you can go on to their website, osmeperfumery.com. Uh, that's, again, where I bought mine. And great design, great blending, great notes. Great house, great perfumer. What else am I going to say? It's just uh, an intoxicating fragrance. So that is all. I will end it there. This is Joel the Nose. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And of course, if you like the video, like it. Ring the bell for notifications. And I hope everyone out there is staying safe. I appreciate all of you for watching. Peace and love.